All right, guys. So um, this came as a little bit of a surprise to me, uh, but it sure is interesting. So a Haitian group has brought criminal charges against both Donald Trump and J.D. Vance for their comments vis-a-vis -vis Springfield. Okay, let me dive into this for you. In the state of Ohio, private citizens have the ability to legally file criminal charges. Tuesday, a Haitian nonprofit called Haitian Bridge Alliance did just that, bringing criminal charges against former President Donald Trump and Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, who are currently running for president and vice president on the GOP ticket. The bench memorandum and supporting affidavit filed at Clark County Municipal Court comes following unfounded claims from both men regarding the large immigrant population in Springfield, Ohio. The attorney for the organization says there's probable cause the two committed crimes and they want a judge to affirm that file charges and issue arrest warrants for both men. The charges are as follows, as laid out by the Chandra law firm who is representing the group. Number one, disrupting public service by causing widespread bomb and other threats that resulted in massive disruptions to the public services in Springfield, Ohio. By the way, I mean, that's, it's just a fact that these things happened. There were bomb threats. Schools had to be shut down. Hospitals had to be evacuated. They did disrupt public service. There's no debate about that, right? Uh, next, making false alarms uh, by knowingly causing alarm in the Springfield community by continuing to repeat lies that state and local officials have said were false. In other words, you have no plausible deniability. The mayor, the governor, the police departments, all of them were saying false, 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 and they continued. More, committing telecommunications harassment uh, by spreading claims they know to be false during the presidential debate, campaign rallies, nationally televised interviews, and social media. Committing aggravated, aggravated menacing by knowingly making intimidating statements with the intent to abuse, threaten, or harass the recipients, including Trump's threat to deport immigrants who are here legally to Venezuela. They're here legally from Haiti. He said, we're going to deport them and I'm going to send them to Venezuela. <laughs> they can do a land they had never known. Uh, committing aggravated menacing by knowingly causing others to falsely believe that members of Springfield's Haitian community would cause serious physical harm to the person or property of others in Springfield and violating the prohibition against complicity by conspiring with one another and spreading vicious lies that cause innocent parties to be parties to their various crimes. Quote, we want the judge to issue arrest warrants for Trump and Vance immediately. There is probable cause, said the lead counsel. The Haitian community is suffering in fear because of Trump and Vance's relentless, irresponsible false alarms and public services have been disrupted. Trump and Vance must be held accountable to the rule of law. Anyone else who wreaked havoc the way they did would have been arrested by now. Uh, the Trump campaign released the following statement, quote, President Trump is rightfully highlighting the failed immigration system that Kamala Harris has overseen, bringing thousands of illegal immigrants pouring into communities like Springfield. They're legal immigrants and many others across the country. President Trump will secure our borders and put an end to the chaos that illegal immigration brings to our communities. Okay. Guys, do you understand how absolutely psychotic and insane and over-the-top and threatening a statement you have to make as a U.S. presidential candidate to have charges filed against you? Do you understand the level of unhinged you have to reach in order to say something as a U.S. presidential candidate and there are plausible criminal charges being brought against you. I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand. This country has incredibly strong free speech protections. In, the strongest in the world. And they managed to go so far that they potentially crossed over the line into criminality by saying shit. So, let's go back here. Uh, where did this come from? This lie that the Haitian immigrants are eating cats, they're eating the dogs, they're eating the pets. It literally comes from a Nazi group called Blood Tribe. They started it. They started it. So they're parroting Nazi propaganda. And the most important point is, there is plenty of evidence that they knew this was false. Plenty of evidence. Apparently, the campaign contacted um, the city, and the city was like, it's not true. Then they proceeded after that to still act like it was true. The governor said it's not true. The mayor said it's not true. The police department said it wasn't true. They continued. They got fucking bomb threats at hospitals and schools. 
they continued repeating it. So, look, I don't know what the outcome here is going to be. I don't know if they will actually be arrested or if these charges will be successful in going after them. But I do know the fact that there's even a question as to whether or not this stuff might land, might work, might be correct, that shows how far gone these guys are. I mean, repeating literal Nazi propaganda over and over, even after knowing it's causing bomb threats, it's, it's messing up people's lives, it's leading to the evacuation of buildings, you're, you're creating a public health crisis as a direct result of it. As, and this is all based on a lie that they know is a lie. They know it's a lie. And they're repeating it. And they don't care. And they point out, even the like, you know, so, oh, we're going to deport them. Well, they're legal immigrants. They're legal immigrants. You have no grounds in which to deport them, right? You're not, you're not saying, hey, we're going to have a long debate and a process and Congress is going to change the law and make them back to illegal and then we'll probably deport them. No, we're going to deport them. They're legal immigrants. So the fact that they're, guys, they may have literally just committed crimes by being so fucking unhinged and so Nazi-like. And by the way, this goes to show you, right? This is the difference, one of the many differences between Trump 2016 and Trump 2020. Trump 2016, yes, he had a, a lot of uh, bigotry and xenophobia mixed in. Uh, the Mexicans, they're criminals, they're rapists. I assume some are good people. We need a total and complete shutdown of Muslims coming in here until we can figure out what the hell is going on. There's plenty of bigotry, right? But the stuff he was saying back then, it was wrong, but it was not potentially criminal. <laughs> Now we're at the point where it's wrong and potentially criminal, and they keep repeating it, and they're just shooting themselves in the foot, bro. They're just shooting themselves in the foot. So I guess add this to the list. Trump originally had like 91 criminal charges. Now Then it was dropped down to like, I think, 86. Now you got to add more to it. I mean, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. But look, for the people who... The thing is, some of these people can prove material harm, right? They can prove material harm. Their life was impacted in a negative way. And as long as they can prove, hey, they were saying these things, knowing that it was wrong and it was having negative consequences, then there, there would actually be a case in that scenario. I don't know whether or not they'll hit all those bars because proving it in a court of law is much different, right? Than just proving it nonchalantly in a colloquial sense. Right. We could connect dots in our mind here and say, yeah, that's probably true. If you have to prove it, it's a little different. Right. But um, the fact that there's even a discussion just shows these people are so far gone, bro. These people are so far gone. And um, they can't uh, like they literally can't help but commit crimes on a regular basis. <laughs> this is such a criminal administration or a criminal campaign. And hilariously, they still pretend like they're all about law and order. Nah, man, not remotely. Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.